The Liberty 4 is Soundcore's newest earbuds, but this time with an entry into the fitness space, offering in-ear heart rate tracking and a wellness app. Plus, they have a ton of other features that make them really great as a daily use earbud. They're similar to the AirPods Pro, but they offer more features for less price. If you'd like to find out more or see if there's any current sales, you can click the link in the description below by clicking more below this video. All right, let's find out some more about these earbuds. The Liberty 4 feature an in-ear heart rate sensor, which is something that very few earbuds have. Therefore, you can display your heart rate on your phone, which is pretty cool, and track your workouts, all without having to have a watch or a chest rate strap. Now, these earbuds also have something called a cloud comfort tip, which is a clear tip with a dual layer membrane, which makes them easier and more comfortable to wear for longer periods of time. I found them overall to be super comfortable, fit really well, and be really good for sports and fitness use. The Liberty 4 doesn't just offer heart rate detection. They've actually built a whole sub app around it called Soundcore Wellness. This is similar to what you might expect from a basic Fitbit tracker with heart rate and activity tracking, and they even have a neck posture reminder for work and study. There's also the ability to have voice guidance, which will tell you your heart rate every 30 seconds and tell you to slow down or speed up based upon how it relates to your target heart rate. Overall, I found this to be really helpful, but it can be a bit repetitive, so it'd be nice to be able to modify the alert frequency in the app. There's also weekly activity targets, calorie tracking, and heart rate zones in the app. Unfortunately, it does not appear to work with GPS at this point. In order to test the heart rate detection, I took the Liberty 4 to the gym and also mountain biking and running. Overall, I found the heart rate to be very comparable to my Garmin 4Runner 9045, which is an expensive fitness watch. Although the gold standard would be a heart rate chest strap, I've tested the 945 against a chest strap, and in almost all situations, it is very accurate. Now, if you're doing a lot of flexion and movements, CrossFit and that kind of stuff, it could be inaccurate in that situation, but in that case, it might actually be better to have in-ear heart rate detection, being that it's not moving around as much as your wrist would. Now, there were some lags in the data a bit, I believe. Uh, there will be some times where the watch varied a bit from what I was seeing on my phone, and I think that was probably due to a lower sampling rate from the earbuds, which is probably due to wanting to save power. So uh, the heart rate would be very accurate. However, when there were dramatic changes in the heart rate, it would take a little bit longer for the earbuds to catch up, or it seemed like the watch was doing that a bit quicker. But overall, it was very accurate. So as you can see, the Liberty 4 looked kind of similar to the Liberty Air 2 Pro, which is one of my favorite earbuds from Soundcore. They also look similar to the AirPods Pro. However, the Liberty 4 do have a couple of unique and more advanced features. For one, you can see that they have a much smaller compact stem, and they also have a squeeze touch control on the side, which is different from the touch capacitive control on the Liberty Air 2 Pro. In my opinion, this squeeze control, which is actually more of a physical touch, it seems like, is much better to use in sports and fitness environments as opposed to this touch control, which can be very finicky. This is similar to the control in the AirPods Pro as well. And overall, I found it to be much more reliable in fitness situations and situations where you're sweaty or you're moving around a lot. Now, these are only IPX4 certified. Um, my favorite earbuds are the Jaybird Vista so far for working out, although I found these to be a really good replacement for that. However, the IPX4 means that they're splash rated. I would like to see Soundcore bump that up to like an IPX7 rating if possible, which means that they will be able to be submerged and they're gonna be more resistant to water and splashes and that kind of stuff. So like I said, the Liberty 4 have a ton of other features. One of them is multi-point connection, which allows you to connect to two devices simultaneously. So you can connect to your phone and also to a computer, to an iPad, whatever you want. You can actually can play back videos or receive calls both those devices simultaneously, so that's pretty cool. Unfortunately, it still does not support connection switching, which would be nice if you have more than two devices, because then you do have to deselect the other device. Other features include Soundcore's AACA 3.0 coaxial acoustic system, Hear ID personalized active noise cancellation, transparency, high-res audio, and LDAC, which is only supported by Android. There are also six microphones and a noise reduction algorithm that help with their good call quality. A single charge on the Liberty 4 offers nine hours of listening, and 28 hours total with the case, which is really good for such a small earbud. The case can also be charged with USB-C or wirelessly. The Liberty 4 do have really excellent sound. However, it might take a bit of tweaking initially to get it personalized just to you. So when I first tried them out, I did think that the highs were a bit high. There's a bit too much treble and it sounded like a little bit squeaky. Once I played around with them a little bit, chose some different EQ settings, which they offer a ton of, and then I did the personalized ANC test. They worked really well and I found that they sounded great. They do have a wider sound stage than the Liberty Air 2 Pro. Uh, they have some good pump and bass on the right song. And overall, they sound really good, especially considering their size. These do have something called spatial audio, which is supposed to, I guess, create like kind of a, a wraparound from different spatial area kind of thing and different effects. However, at this point, I didn't 
find that to sound that good. It just sounded kind of echoey to me, so I chose to leave it off. I actually preferred the 3D sound on Liberty 3 Pro, but this is something that might be improved and worked upon by Soundcore and can easily be changed in their app. Liberty 4 are an excellent pair of earbuds that should meet or exceed pretty much everybody's expectations. Whether you're using them as your daily driver or for fitness use, they really should have pretty much everything you need. They offer the in-ear heart rate detection and the wellness app for fitness users. They offer the active noise cancellation for commuters. They also offer convenience features like the multi-point connection and the wireless charging case. And they sound great and they come in at a pretty good price as well. These really are a great pair of earbuds I think you definitely should check out. If you guys have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. <laughs>